Hello, I'm back again today with another little video for Tonic Studios and this is a lovely 47 piece die set that has been released for their birthday celebration and I'm going to show you through some of the things that I've made with it but first of all I'll just show you that it's three different little party bags that can be made with this set but there are lots of little detailed pieces as well like inside panels for each of them, little tags a lovely little um, die that makes a dimensional rose. So these are three little bags that I've already made. I've just used some patterned paper and then some plain to show off the detailed dies in each set here. There's the other one. So this one has a little top piece on it. This is little round handles and this one has a sort of rectangular shaped handle and then I've used one of the dies at the front there to to cut out a panel and I've put some acetate in behind and I've made a little bow from the same die that I cut this out with so that's just three little ideas and also I have looked at it and thought I could make some cards or some little things as well with it so I'll just pop these out of the road and get out some of the pieces that I've already cut out of my coral pink card and show you how to make them. For each of these little bags you're going to need to lift the, the die that cuts the main bag shape out and you'll need to cut that out twice for each of them. So I've gone ahead and done that with this one and I've cut it out twice here and here and then I have taken this little die, so I've just left the die cut inside it, this little die with a lovely scalloped edge on it and I have used that down the centre of this card, now before this piece of card, before I've attached them both together. And I've taken out the centre and then I have cut a piece of acetate. So it's five and a half centimetres this way, by just slightly under eight and a half this way. And then I've attached this with red liner tape down the side, but I've also secured it across the top with a little of the uh, tonic glue. And then the next thing I'm going to do is fold these little flaps in and now this is the same principle that you'd use for making any of the bags but if you're going to cut into the front of them you would need to do that before you attach them so now I'm just going to add some glue in here in this little tab and this is how I like to do it put the glue in and attach this tab to the top of the other piece like so and then on the opposite one I'm going to put the glue on the inside of the tab here and then I'm going to put that underneath so there's one attached to the inside and one to the outside and when those are attached now obviously I've used wet glue here because I like to be able to move them around a little and just make sure they're in the right place but if you, you can use red liner tape as well so I've got this piece and, there, and there's no um, tab showing on the inside and then if I slide that one in there, I hope you can see that on top of that one, that means there's no tab showing either on the inside or on the outside at the bottom so now that I've got those together I'm just going to add some glue along here and then some glue along the tabs at the side here and here and slide them together so I mean, you can see where the glue is here and that's just going to go down in here and that one's going to go on the inside so we can do it this way and there we are and I'll just hold those together for a second or two until the glue attaches now I've just held on to the little piece of um, card that came out of the centre with this die cut and I've taken my bone folder and just I've done this to sort of uh, mould the fibres in the card a little bit and then you take the two ends and fold them in to the centre like so they're slightly overlapping there which is good and then just nip a little bit out of the centre top and bottom like that there. And 
then I'm just going to put some glue in the centre. Fold these pieces in like that. Hold that down there and then I'll do the same here and I'll just snip off these little bits here. You need to leave a little bit in the centre just so that it's got enough to grab onto the glue in there. And hold that in and you can just hold that together for a minute or two, uh, not even as long as that. Um, I'll just grab a pencil here and we'll put the pencil in and just reform the bow shapes there. And then I've got a little piece of card here and I'm just going to wrap that around. It's just a narrow piece of card and I'm going to wrap that around there and make the bow shape. I actually think I'll just cut this slightly thinner even. There we are. Same with this just to make it a little tidier, a little easier to mould and a drop of glue on the back like this and there we are. Fold that on there and around. Now you've got a nice little bow and what I do is usually just nip that back piece off and you've got the little bow like so and then take the other piece of card and just fold it over like that and nip a little piece here so, or maybe go this way yeah that way and that way and then a drop of glue in there and on there hold those together and hold that onto the back and you've got a nice little bow and I'm going to just pop that little bow onto the top of the bag just here and then I'll add a little sequin in the centre now I've taken this little die again with the scalloped edge and this little lattice type die and I've cut it out both of those together out twice in white card and I've put one on this side and one on this side and then I have used the large scallop die with this little die that has the birds on inside of it and then I have glued that to the back of the little bag so now to add a little white to the front I have a sequin on here but I, I'm going to change that in a moment because I think it would be nicer with a li nice little white flower or something on there. So what I've done here is I have used this little scallop die and it's for a tag but I've cut it out twice in white and I've cut part off here and I'm just going to do the same here just past where that little hole is and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back of each of these slip that in there and that will look nice in behind that little bow it'll just add as a nice act as a nice little contrast between the coral bow and the little bag itself so there we are and now I've gone ahead and I have used the little this little die and cut it out in white and I'm just going to I think actually the easiest way that I find to use this is with reverse tweezers so we'll just start at the outside grab the end of it and hold this and just twist this all around spiraling as you go and try to keep the bottom of it sort of level as you go you can see there when you get to the end of it, the flat piece here is going to be the bottom, so you can just turn that over. Now when you take the tweezers out, just let that release a little bit to come out, you know, so it's not the coil is not so tight. And then you can put some glue just in around this area here and on the base. 
and then we'll push this together and hold it and then I think I'm going to put that on here instead of that little sequin so I'll just remove the sequin I could have just left it there and put the rose on top but anyhow there we are and some more glue on there and hold that down And there we are. So for the other little bags you basically use the same principle. You cut out two of the outside shapes, join them together as I have done for this one and decorate with these panels. So I'm going to go ahead now um, and show you another little card or something just slightly different from the bags because basically once you've cut one it's quite easy just to follow that idea and do the rest of them. For my second little project I have used this die and I have cut it out six times so I have made little uh, bags like this, two in, in coral and one in white and I have used this outline die with this pattern die to make these panels for the front so I've used the white on top of the coral and I have used the coral on top of the white and then I thought I'd make a nice little tray for these to sit in so I've worked out just by measuring it that the base of the tray needs to be nine centimeters by six so I have cut a rectangle I've added three centimeters on at each side so it's 15 this way by 12 and I have scored all around it in at three centimeters and then on these corners I have just, I'll show you here what I've done, I've just snipped in at each corner there and taken a little chamfer off, if that's the word, and now I'm just going to add some glue to these tabs and make a little tray. Before I do that, sorry I should have said, I have also used the same two dies that I used for the side panels on the little bags to make two little patterns here and I'm going to put them on the front and the back so I'll just speed it up while I glue all the pieces together. And there we have our little tray that three of these little bags will fit inside and you could use those for storage or for a little gift of three different pieces so that fits really nicely into there. <laughs> 